What's up everyone? It's me, Tasha, and today I wanted to show you some mega thrifting scores that I've gotten recently. Recently I've been going thrifting crazy, and I went to three different thrift stores, and I did four different trips. So I have ten things to show you, I'm going to get into that in a second. So the very first trip I made was to Goodwill. It was a couple weeks ago, it was kind of like off of a whim. I was out running errands with my mom, and I was like, let's just stop at Goodwill. And I'm kind of obsessed with blazers, so I went straight to the blazer section. I own about like ten blazers in my closet, but that didn't stop me. And I found this blazer. It caught my eye because it was in good condition. It was a navy blazer. I don't have just a plain navy blazer. And I tried it on and it fit me. And I took it to the register and it was only $3 because it ended up being a kid's blazer. But yeah. So here it is right here. It's just this navy blazer and it's from the Cherokee brand which you get from Target I believe. It's a size 12 and so that's basically like a large kid's size. And it's just a regular blazer. It's lined and it's padded shoulders and it's just really cute and I love it a lot. So on Friday, September 30th, I went to a local thrift store that just opened recently and I knew that they were going to open because I saw them setting up so I wanted to go check it out and see if they were open yet and they were so I stopped inside and first of all let me just tell you that I was purposely looking for high-waisted denim whether that be shorts or jeans because I want to do my own reconstructions like distressing and bleaching and acid washing and things like that with jeans and I want them to be high-waisted shorts so I was looking for that kind of stuff and I found a great deal of these things so first of all I found these shorts they're by Lee and they're high-waisted big bloody shorts and the tag is so worn out on these I didn't even know what size they were all I could make out at the bottom was that it said medium very faintly and I think that this says that they were an 8, but I'm not quite sure about that. But these are so high-waisted, and I'm glad I picked them up anyway. I mean, I knew they were going to be a little bit big on me, but they're not that bad. I can just belt them up, and they'll be fine after that. The next thing I picked up from that store is a pair of high-waisted Calvin Klein jeans. I remember Calvin Klein being so popular back in the 90s. My mom had a Calvin Klein hoodie, and when I saw this, I was like, ooh, Calvin Klein, you know? It reminds me of my childhood. So, um, I picked up just this plain, light wash pair of high-waisted Calvin Kleins. And the cool thing I like about this is it has a button fly. So the zipper, there's no zipper, it's just buttons. And it buttons up all the way, but you can't see the buttons once it's done because it has this extra flap of fabric that goes right over it. And I thought that was really cool, so I picked them up. Probably my favorite find from this thrift store is the pair of vintage guest jeans that I found. I looked them up, this style and everything, and it's from the 80s, so I was pretty stoked that I got this nice score at the thrift store. And they're just plain old guest jeans, you know, but they're so cute. And the bottoms have zippers at the end, so that's always really cute. And the thing about this store is it was dirt cheap, and I ended up getting all three of these pairs of denim for only $8 because the two pairs of jeans were $2.99 and the shorts were $1.99, so that was an awesome score at this thrift store. Yesterday, which was Saturday, October 1st, I went to my local Goodwill because I knew that they were having a big $1 sale. All clothes were $1, and anything that was denim was $2, so... I had to be there, and I was there right when it opened, okay, and it was a frenzy, there were so many people there, it was like such an adrenaline rush, but anyways, that's besides the point, what I ended up picking up is, first of all, this Tommy Hilfiger, Blaine keeps correcting me on that, I always say Hilfiger, but he's like, no, it's not that, Tasha, it's Hilfiger, so Tommy Hilfiger jean jacket that I found in the kids section, yes, it's a kids large, but I picked this up thinking that I was going to make, you know, just destruct it and make it into a jean vest. But when I tried it on, it actually fits me on the sleeve. So I don't know if I really want to cut it up now. But I'll figure out something to do with it. The next thing I picked up was just a plain old pair of Dickies khaki pants because... I was awakened to the fact that I do not own any khaki pants when I volunteered with Blaine because everyone was supposed to be wearing khaki pants and I did not have khaki pants. So I decided to just pick one up because you never know when you're going to need one and it was only a dollar so why not? The pair of denim that I picked up is super cool to me because they're a high-waisted pair of jeans but they are super long. I don't know if they're just for a really skinny guy or if they're for a super tall girl because these things, I mean I'm pretty tall myself and they go way beyond my feet. So here they are right here. I'm probably going to cut these into shorts or something. I'm really not quite sure. But the thing that caught my eye about them is they're striped. 
I don't know if you can see the lighter and the dark stripes in the camera, but yeah, you can see that. I'm looking in the mirror. So, I just think it's really cool, and yeah, they're quirky, and they're a little funky, they're super mom jeans, but that's what I was looking for, because I really want to do some high-waisted jean reconstructions. The next pair of high-waisted denim that I picked up from the Goodwill sale is this pair of Wrangler jeans. And I washed all of these yesterday because, you know, if you get something from the thrift store, you have to wash them. But then when I took them out, I noticed that the freaking belt buckle on this side is coming up and there's like a hole in it. But that's okay because I was going to reconstruct these anyway. So that'll just add to the kind of destroyed look that goes with them. So I got these. Only two bucks. Whatever. My favorite piece that I found from my Goodwill $1 and $2 sale is this vintage pair of Levi's. Oh, I'm so stoked about this. First of all, the tag that says Levi's on it is so worn out. You can barely make out what it says. And that just made me excited, excited in itself because I was like, oh, these are super worn. Like, the person must have really loved these jeans, whoever owns them before me. And also what I liked about them is the design on it. It's like a, what do you call it, pinstripe? something like that. Yeah, and it's striped and it's just so awesome and they fit me so well. They come all the way to the floor and I was really excited because like I said, I'm tall and that's really like rare to find for me, especially with high-waisted jeans and also it has a button fly, kind of like the Calvin Klein jeans that I showed you before and I just thought that was super cool, so I'm so excited about these and I don't even think I want to cut them because this is a super rare find. You know, they don't make jeans like this anymore, so yeah, I'm so in love with these. Then on that same day, I had to go to a field trip later on on Saturday for my school. Yes, we still go on field trips in college. But um, so I was like, since I'm in a, a different town, I was actually in the Bay Area. So I was like, I want to go to like sort of a, a big city Goodwill to see what's going on. And I thought that they were having the $1 sale too. They weren't, but yeah. So anyways, um, I found these boots that I really wanted because sitting on my university campus, I just noticed a bunch of girls wearing those not really high, but kind of like mid-length boots that are um, lace-up boots, but they have the zippers on the inside, and I was like, I really want those so bad, but if I got them from the store, they'd probably be like 40, 60 bucks, maybe from Macy's, and I happened to find a pair at this Goodwill. First of all, let me say that big city Goodwills are so overpriced. I mean, compared to my Goodwill, I was like, who does this Goodwill think it is? But anyways, I just picked up this pair of boots because I really, really wanted them. They're lace up, they have the zippers on the inside, like I said, and they were only 10 bucks, and they happened to be in my size, so I was super stoked about this too. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a great day. Peace out.